me, Pack the Backyard Builder here. Well, I have what everybody wants, a perfect casting. And uh, these are actually rather easy to achieve. Uh, when, uh, one of the secrets, though, to uh, getting a perfect casting is having nice, clean molds. And today I'm going to share a few quick and easy tips for, for keeping your molds clean. Um, everybody wants to keep their their uh, the molds nice and clean. Uh, you don't want a buildup of, of, uh, of uh, concrete on the, even on the edge here, because you know when you have to go down, uh, go by with your scraper to level it out. You know if you had a whole bunch of concrete on built up on here, well, well you're going to get a, a wavy, wavy back edge, and, and you, you really want to keep it as nice, nice and clean as you can. So, so uh, keeping your molds clean is actually, actually paramount. Uh, for, for, for keeping good, uh, consistent castings. We're looking at a very dirty mold here. Um, th th this one has, has uh, concrete stuck uh, all to the inside of here. Now the thing is about stuff like this, like, well, on, on, on where you close the seam it's no big deal, but uh, but uh, this on the inside here where, where, where the surface of the casting takes place, all of that uh, will affect the uh, the surface of, of your product. So you do need to keep your molds clean. Um, now this is relatively easy to do. Uh, basically you do what's uh, called an acid wash. Uh, now an acid wash is very easy to set up. Okay, what we have here is an acid bath. Uh, I've got it set up for uh, taking care of my molds, keeping things nice and clean. Uh, basically all it is is uh, muriatic or hydrochloric acid. Uh, muriatic acid being the trade name. I have it uh, mixed uh, down to about uh, 10 to 1 ratio uh, for, from the strength that you uh, buy it in. And uh, what I have here is, is just a, a child's play pool. I picked it up at Canadian Tire for about 10 bucks. And uh, you just basically fill the tub and just throw everything in and let it sit for a, a day or two. And, and uh, really easy, just, just take your mold and uh, in she goes. Uh, just, just fill it up and uh, the uh, acid water will uh, start attacking the, uh, the, the concrete and uh, you, you take it out in a, a day or so and just rinse it in water and you've got a spiffy clean mold. You need to pay a little attention to the uh, the mother mold as well. Now, uh, the mother mold, if if you uh, if it's made out of fiberglass, you can throw it into the acid bath. It's really not necessary. Um, that is an option. But uh, you get this buildup of uh, concrete on the edges uh, of things. Just very carefully. Just just take a pick hammer and just very very gently just just knock that off and that just makes uh, life easier for working with. So, some people leave it on, it's really not a big deal whether you leave it on or take it off. I suppose that, that doesn't affect your casting but it uh, can sometimes get in the way of uh, smoothing the bottom of your uh, of your casting. Get too much of a build up there. It uh, can get a little difficult to work with. And then your, uh, your your latex molds can go in, in here as well as plastic molds. Uh, just uh, if you have a big enough tub, you can put several in at once. Just kind of get it in there. Yeah, just take that little filler out there and just kind of dip it in. Open the mold up so it uh, it gets at all the all the surfaces, fill it in there, make sure you got gloves on of course if you're going to dip your hands in it, and 
Latex is absolutely impervious to the uh, acid wash, so you can leave it in here for a day or two. It's not going to hurt it at all. Same with the plastic. Uh, don't ever, ever put a metal mold in, though, because uh, the, the metal molds will corrode, uh, and, and you won't have a mold left. <laughs> so Some of them will actually be damaged quite quickly by putting acid on them, so do take care. Don't ever put a metal mold in. Okay, while you've got uh, your mold sitting in, in the uh, acid bath, just every so often just come by and just, just stir them up a bit, mix it around so that the uh, fresh acid can get at the, uh, the spots, turn them over a bit so that spots that aren't underwater can, can be underwater and uh, get tr their, their treatment as well. 